Harlem Renaissance, History Told Through Art, the work of Jacob Lawrence and Romare Bearden. On a walk around the New York City neighborhood of Harlem in the 1920s, you'd see kids playing on the sidewalk, neighbors chatting in front of apartment buildings, and busy people rushing off to work. What you wouldn't see is the hidden world of writers, painters, or jazz singers and musicians, but this art scene was booming. This very important neighborhood was where an explosion of creativity was taking place. Before 1900, about 90% of African Americans lived in the South, but discrimination and lack of jobs drove many of them north in search of a better life. Between 1900 and 1960, about five million black Americans moved north in what is known as the Great Migration. Many of these travelers settled in Harlem. This was a time of social change and a period of innovation in African American art, music, poetry, and literature that came to be known as the Harlem Renaissance. The great writers and poets of the Harlem Renaissance used words to share their experiences and stories of their people, but Jacob Lawrence used paintings to tell his stories. Jacob Lawrence was born in 1917 in Atlantic City, New Jersey. His family lit, moved to Harlem when he was 13. He took art classes from some of the most important artists of the Harlem Renaissance. These artists taught him many things, including how to use art to share and celebrate African Americans. <clears throat> During his career, Lawrence created many series of paintings that are all connected by a common theme. One of his favorites was his neighborhood. In this painting, titled Street Shadows, Lawrence depicts people gathered outdoors. On hot summer nights with no air conditioning, people's lives spilled out onto the street. People had to work hard to earn enough money to pay rent. Lawrence created a series of paintings showing people working that included builders, bakers, and architects. The man in the shoemaker, this picture you're looking at now, fills up the picture space. His shoulders practically touch the ceiling, and his arms and fingers are rectangular. By exaggerating the body's scale, Lawrence emphasizes the physical nature of the shoemaker's job. Romare Bearden was born in North Carolina in 1911, but his family moved to Harlem when he was very young. His mother was a newspaper editor, and their home often became a meeting place where writers like Langston Hughes and musicians like Duke Ellington gather to discuss ideas. As Romare listened, he became inspired to show his own ideas using art. Bearden wanted to make art about the things he loved, like music and equal rights for all. He began making paintings, but then in the 1960s, he started adding other materials to his work. These collages, like this image titled The Three Folk Musicians, used photos, newspaper, decorative paper, and other materials. Bearden glued cutout shapes in overlapping layers and often added texture by using paper with printed patterns. He also used photographs 
for the nose, and hands, and other features. Jazz, which is rooted in African music, inspired Bearden, and like and like a composer, he developed techniques to create different moods in his art. Collage allowed him to create visual rhythm. So what has inspired you? We've looked at two artists, Romare Bearden and Jacob Lawrence. Were you inspired by Jacob Lawrence? and how he told stories about everyday life and heroes and social issues? Or was it Romare Bearden and his love of jazz music and city living and his collages to express his ideas? Using the handout provided, brainstorm several ideas for each of the topics listed. Afterwards, share your list with the people at your table. Give each other feedback to help you select a topic to draw.